Good morning gamers, welcome back to a brand new video. It is 8.36 in the morning. We have quite the day ahead of us. I have a meetup like an hour away. We're picking up 19 pairs for $4,550. I'm almost ready to go. I just need to grab a few more things, a few camera equipments, and then we can go hit the road, and get some coffee so we don't drive into a wall. We'll go get the shoes. Hopefully they're all real and you guys are gonna come along for the ride. So uh, come on, follow me. All right, got the car loaded up. I am taking my mom's car this time because my car needs wheels, not wheels, tires, and I am not confident in them making it an hour drive. So yeah, mommy let me borrow her car. So major shout out to mommy. Shout out mommy. I'm gonna go to Starbucks real quick, go get a coffee, and then we have a nice little hour drive ahead of us. All right, so we just picked up our beverage. We got a ice blended mocha. And then for the food of choice, we picked up a chocolate croissant. You know, it actually, it doesn't really look that appetizing from right here, but I mean, I'm gonna assume it's gonna slap. I will see you guys either when I get there or maybe I'll pick up the camera a few times on the road. I don't know. Don't, don't blame me if I don't though, sorry. All right, I just pulled up to the Chase Bank that we're meeting at. It is literally right there. So I'm gonna go inside real quick before he pulls up and go get the cash. Okay, I just pulled out the cash, but we have a small little issue. So the chest mount I brought, I didn't bring the stupid, like the little pin that goes inside to hold the GoPro in. I did bring this camera. So yeah, I might have to use this one, the little pocket one. Oh, dude, that sucks. I don't know, unless I can do like a makeshift type thing. Let me see what I can do. You get most of your stuff for retail? Uh, some of it, yeah. They'll maybe charge you like 60 or 80 bucks over here. Dude. Uh, I wish it was still like that. A lot of people, they're, they're not down for that anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised these are going for as low as they are right now. Yeah, I thought when they first, when they first went up on sneakers, I thought they were gonna go for a lot. But yeah. They, I think they did like three or four drops of them. Yeah, they did. They, they, everything's like restocking like crazy right now. The other one, what's the, um, the like, it's like mus muslin? Those are so sick. I have those, but I kept those. <laughs> yeah, no, you should definitely keep. Those are going to yeah. be like a three hundred dollar, four hundred dollar shoe soon. I'm so surprised that those are going for under three hundred. Like they look even better in hand too. Oh hell yeah, they're, they're clean. You had these for a minute? I've had those since they came out. Wow, when those, was that? Like uh, 2017, 16? 16, I think. These break like crazy. Yeah. No. I love these. I, like I had those a pair. Too. I have two pair. I'm surprised these are going for that low too. Did you get these before they like they went up like crazy? Yeah. Same thing was like uh, uh, I had bought the black cats when they dropped. Oh. And they were just sitting on. Yeah, that's a good on, one. On the website, and then uh, I have two. They pairs. were at the Nike outlet. Yeah, I had to, I, I had to got two pairs because I had to, like, got, like all black shoes. The quality on these is really good too. Yeah, yeah these nice are clean. I think when they first came out, they were going for like, at least grade school, was going for like 200, and now it's like 300. I think they're gonna go up even more like that. I think so too. Bucks. I think they're gonna be like around where the Oreo, the white Oreo 4s are. Are uh, were these in there? Yeah, I think I, I, think I might have said they were 13, but they're 15. I think it said 16. 16. Dude, this thing is huge. <laughs> yeah, these are cool. These were going for like nothing when they first dropped. Cause I remember I got a pair off of like Foot Locker with a coupon code. So we picked up these, ooh instead of uh the patent breads because it was a 16 instead of a 13 but we just did a mocha instead paying 45 50 for everything here i'll break it down later in the car appreciate, appreciate it. it anytime you get more stuff just uh let me know okay just finished up the deal shout out to him he was super cool but yeah i'm gonna go drive home we have like an hour drive back hopefully the footage is not terrible because it was kind of hard to like check the shoes and record at the same time it's usually easier with the chest mount but you know took an l didn't forget i forgot the little peg thing but yeah i'm gonna go home and then once i do that i'll break everything down and give you guys a clear estimate of what i paid for each pair we paid 45 50 for everything that's 19 pairs so yeah we'll see we'll see like the exact breakdown when i get back so one of the beauties of this deal is all those 19 pairs i just got actually except for the mochas because but they're they're very close to brand new i don't have to clean them at all the beauty of that is once i get home we can inventory it i'm posting it up for sale like it's ready to go that that's one of the beauties of buying brand new so don't be don't shy away from buying brand new if you're like newer just make sure you're getting it for a decent price that you know you'll be able to move it at i honestly i expect most of this stuff i'd say probably like 80 percent of the stuff to be gone before sunday and today is friday so we'll see how that statement holds uh, in the next couple days but all these are pretty recent releases that are pretty in demand like i i honestly i i i would be surprised if less than 80% of it doesn't sell. But yeah, that's just my two cents. Now I'm going back on the road. All right, I'm um, back home. Everything is in the spreadsheet. 
Now, let's go through everything and show you guys what we capped. First off, we were supposed to get some patent bread, size 13 brand new, but instead he was a 16 and the size 16 goes for a lot less than a size 13. So uh, he did this mochas instead. They came out to like 330 on these. Next pair we picked up are these stone, what is these called? Stone Sage, Stone Sage Foam Runners. Got these for 170. Next up, some cool gray 11s in the GS size. We picked these up for 165. Next up, five and a half Jordan 4. The new Red Thunder 4s. These went up like crazy. We picked these up for 250. So that's pretty good. Next up, five and a half Jordan 1. We picked these up for a hundred dollars. The Brotherhood 1s. Honestly, the quality is really good on these. I'm kind of surprised they go for as little as they do because it's not a bad color. It, it kind of reminds me of like a, like a pink lemonade type of type of thing here. But I mean, for whatever reason, they're going for like nothing. So yeah, that's that. Pretty cool shoe in my opinion. Next, these Gore-Tex black and green ones. If you guys don't know, these are waterproof. So Gore-Tex, they make like rainproof stuff, like outdoors stuff. And then they did this little collab on a Jordan 1. And these are completely waterproof. If these were not brand new, I would show you guys that they're waterproof, but they are. So I don't want to mess it up for someone else. But the materials on this is really nice. This suede in the back or whatever this is, like leather nubuck thing. It's nice. It feels very premium. Only thing I don't really like is like the green, the green right here. I wish they would have just went like with like a shadow color. And then these are the bottoms. We got these for 180 next up red cardinal threes in a five and a half we got these for 140 these are pretty cool yeah not much to say about them just a jordan 3 clean colorway next up some obsidians we picked these up for 390 a little higher than i would want honestly but they'll probably move pretty quick these are always in demand it's a clean colorway these are nine and a half so it should make some decent money on these next up another pair of red cardinal threes in a size eight we got these for two hundred dollars so we're probably not going to make a lot of money but these are the type of shoes that you can sell extremely quick and i'm trying to shoot for more volume so these are the type of shoes that would be perfect to move a lot of eights eight and a halfs from this buyout uh next pair we got some university fours we got these for eight and a half for 370 370 i believe not too crazy i honestly think i paid pretty fair in this deal so i'm sure you guys would be so proud size four another university four we picked these up for 180 i honestly don't really know what they go for i think they go for like 220 225 i don't know i have to double check but decent pickup not crazy honestly this whole pile there's nothing really crazy in it it's just decent deals that I'll be able to move quick. Except for this one. I actually don't know how fast these will sell. If you guys don't know, these came out in like 2016, 2017. And these sat on shelves at like malls for a long time. These hit outlets multiple times. And honestly, I this is a clean shoe if they didn't do like this laser etching in it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But you guys can see like there's like this whole like laser etching all around the shoe. From back here though, it looks clean. It's like a black Jordan 4 with a gum bottom. That's clean. Then it gets kind of ugly when you get close. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. Not a big fan i forgot what we paid on those we paid we paid 280 on those that'll be interesting to see because they do go for some money bordeaux ones we paid 165 not bad oh also after this i have to show you guys some new personals i picked up in the last like week or so so yeah i'll show you guys that in a second next up we got some pollens pick these up for 185 super clean color for the summer pretty good shoe next up a sleeper in my opinion the cool gray four got these this is honestly i think the most expensive shoe out of everything cool gray yeah we paid 360 for these so pretty high not high like as in i paid high but like they go for a lot so cool gray four Woo. lots of fours and ones and threes in this pile next up some topazes in a size eight and a half we paid 335 on these oh sorry my allergies are bad today shout out to the allergy gang i shouted you guys out in the last video you guys were holding it down out here what the fours six and a half brand new 310 310 on these coming down to our last final pairs here we have i'm not going to take them out of the box because we've already done this like three times university fours and a four and a half we paid 230 and last but not least the other pair of the Gore-Tex. You guys can see like the little tag here. It says guaranteed to keep you dry. I actually kind of like these ones a little bit more than the black ones. But yeah, I've seen some people wear these like when they're hiking and stuff. So pretty cool shoe, pretty cool shoe. The whole inside lining is like waterproof. I, I don't know, they're waterproof. So I would expect that. Basically that's it. We got these for 185. But yeah, that's everything we picked up today. Nothing too crazy. Now, let me show you guys what I picked up recently for the personal collection.
So we picked up two shoes. Slowly but surely, the collection is starting to build back to what it once was. But I picked these up on Sunday at the mall. These were sitting there. The Jade Fives. Got these for retail. And honestly, if you guys are thinking about getting them, get them now because I think they're extremely undervalued. I think the most expensive size is a uh, 11 and a half and it's going for like 260. In my opinion, this should be like a 350 shoe. It's got the yellow bottoms, like the aged, like netting. It's just, it's just, it's chef's kiss. The materials, they're okay. They're not crazy, but it just, it's a nice shoe, dude. Like, look at that green. Ooh. But next we picked up the off-white five sales. I got these for a steal. I got them for 350. They just didn't have a box, but I'm like, I'm not wearing the box and they didn't have insoles. But if you guys remember those cool gray, no, um, Space Jam 11s I had that were fake that I bought from Dallas. I took the insoles out, slapped them in here, and it's literally the same insole that comes with them, I believe. They have like Nike Air on them. But uh, yeah, for 350, could not go wrong with these. I've been wanting them ever since they came out. And honestly, when Virgil died, I didn't think I was ever gonna get these again because I thought they would just skyrocket to the moon, but I got them. So yeah, that's all I have to say for now. I'm gonna go post up these pairs on my Instagrams. Feel free to follow me. Uh, it'll be right here on the screen. But uh, yeah, I'll pick up the camera in a second when I'm done posting everything. So what is up guys? We sold a few pairs of shoes, but I'm not gonna show you guys which ones we sold yet because I am gonna go to the gym right now. So I will show you guys after I get back. And then we also got a nice little special surprise from GOAT. So that'll be fun to see. I'm gonna go right now. Uh, we'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, I am back from the gym and I am shaking right now. I'm not shaking because I'm scared. I'm shaking because I'm nervous, which I guess is a form of being scared. Actually, no, it's not. I don't know. But I might've been talking about it a lot lately. It's this app called Steppen. I talked about it a little bit in the last video. It's this app where like, it's an NFT, you buy it, it's expensive and you earn money from walking. So it has been going pretty well. I believe in the project personally. All right, you guys do your own research. Already went over that all, blah, 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 blah. I just put another $1,300 into it to get a third shoe. And if my math is correct, I really, I really hope this goes according to plan. Right now, I'm earning around 8.5 to 10 GST token per day walking, which translates to the current price of GST is 4.55. So I'll multiply, let's just even it out, 9.2 in the middle. So times 9.2, that is $41.86 a day. Buying this new shoe would up my energy level to three, which is increases the amount per day I can make by 50%. So theoretically, I should be making around 15-ish tokens a day. So 15 times, say it stays at 455. That is $68 per day. And say I walk 25 days a month. That is $1,700 per month. All in right now, I believe I'm at like 3,000 all in. My heart is literally pounding so hard right now because I just bought it. I just transferred the money out of my bank account. This is a huge risk. If you have kids to support, if you have a roof to put over your head that you have to pay for, probably recommend not doing this, but I'm young. I am taking a massive risk right now. Hopefully, hopefully in like six months time, I'll talk about this again and be like, it paid off or it crashed to zero. And that's just the risk I'm willing to take. But yeah, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's still transferring over. But yeah, my heart's pounding. But yeah, besides that, I'm gonna tell you guys what we sold. Let me open up the spreadsheet so I know how much I paid for the shoe so I can give you guys a nice estimate. Dude, I'm, I'm still, my heart is pounding still like crazy. I haven't been this nervous for a transaction in a minute. Got them all laid out here. So we sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've sold nine pairs so far and there's a few more pending in the, on the way. Actually, first let's get this one out of the way. We sold these on eBay. If you guys wanna go check out the eBay store, it'll be the first link in the description. These pine green mids, this was an L purchase. I shouldn't have bought these. I made $10, but I mean, it's whatever. Out of sight, out of mind. Next up, I haven't pulled them yet because I haven't made the labels yet, but we sold some stone sage foam runners that we picked up this morning. I believe we're going to be making roughly $30 on those. So that's a plus. We sold some Jordan 3 Knicks. We're gonna be making $40 on those four pairs of cardinals we sold one pair that we got this morning the rest from kobe swap meet we're making 30 on the size eight we're making ten dollars on the nine and i think ten dollars on two tens as well so nothing crazy this next one we made some decent money on the jordan 4 what does the gs size brand new is 500 dollars 
and we paid 310. So we're gonna be making roughly like $90 on these. So that's a great one. Next one we sold, Dunklo Purple Pulse. We picked those up for 220. We sold them for 260. We're gonna be making roughly like 35, 28 ish dollars. So that's everything we've sold so far. So decent selling day. I'm sure more will sell later tonight and I'll pick up the camera. But right now I'm gonna go watch the Clippers probably lose in the play in tournament. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll probably be in a great mood after they lose again for the like millionth time. All right, what is up guys? It is the next day. It is Saturday. I am on my way to a meetup. The Clippers lost last night at that game, so that was sick. So fun to watch. I'm going to go to Chase Bank to go meet this guy up. I think it's some guy I went to high school with, I think, but I'm picking up two pairs, but you guys will see what we're getting. So yeah, I will try to film if I can. If I can't, I'll just show you guys what I get in the car. All right, I just got to the Chase where we're going to meet up. I just got the cash out the eight TM, and I think he should be pulling up any second now. So, uh, yeah. Go cool, check him out real quick. Yeah, we'll go for it. Is it 200, right? Yeah, bro. There you go. All right, dude. Appreciate, Appreciate you. it, bro. Hey, man, I seen you. Yeah. Shoes secured. $200, not too bad. The geodes, I think we could be able to make 50 bucks on because they are kind of beat and no box. Blue tints, because they restocked, they are going for a little bit less than they used to be. I'd say we'd probably make like 100 bucks off of both, which is really good because uh, I only paid 200. We're going to be making 300 back. So yeah, I think that's really good. Now we're going to go skirt, skirt home. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to film much today because Easter's tomorrow and we're doing a family thing today. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be filming too much, but um, I will if, if there's something to film really. All right, what's up guys? We are back from the meetup. Just in case I didn't record well enough this is what we picked up some geode 700s no box honestly pretty pretty clean on the bottoms not gonna lie um only thing is i might just need to redo the lacing because it's pulled kind of tight but besides that these are clean so i don't think i'll have to clean these at all but these ones i definitely will have to clean some size 9 blue tint 350s yeah these are really gross these were used pretty heavily but the beauty with yeezy 350s is most of the time you can just throw them in the washing machine and it'll clean like the like this knitted upper and then the bottoms they just need a little scrub scrubby ww and yeah all the ridges are on the back that's usually a good sign of how worn they are usually you can tell by how used the easy 350 is by these little ridges in the back if they have like all the ridges on the back usually they're pretty lightly worn but if there's no ridges on the back those things were destroyed so yeah we picked them both up for 200 bucks, which is not bad at all. I, I'd say if I'm patient, I could probably get 180 for the mauves and like 175 for the blue tints, I think. That's if I'm patient. If I'm not, I'll make a quick 100 bucks off both of them or off both of them combined. Sorry, there's some work getting done outside. Um, But yeah, that... Okay, I will pick up the next clip whenever I do. So I will see you guys. All right, what is up guys? I am back. Um, we got two packages in today uh, and we're gonna see what is inside of them. I mean, I'm assuming it's shoes, obviously, but that's all I can tell you. Nice little note, appreciate you. Box came in, unfazed. They are some Jordan 1 Hyper Royals and I believe we paid $200 for these. Um, OG all. I'm gonna legit check them after this real quick, but I mean from right here they look decent But yeah, I'll look a little deeper in a second. I think we're paying 200 bucks on those. One more box. Nice smooth Slice all the way Through look at that beautiful This is some heavy-duty tape for sure My boy was not taking any chances on that opening and we have another Jordan 1. This one's got a little, little girth to it. It's a little heavy. Size nine and a half. So this is my third pair of shattered backboards that I have in the inventory. These are brand new, but I think he just said they were missing the lace back. But I'm gonna do a little switcheroo because I have an, a pair that I literally, I have the same exact pair, but it has the extra laces and the little like hang tag thing. So I'm just gonna take it out, swap the laces in and then bada bing, bada boom, OG all. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think about these? I remember when they dropped, no one was a fan of these just cause they kind of look like a trash bag, but I mean, they're clean. We picked these up for 300 bucks. They're brand new. You guys can see the bottoms. But uh, yeah, both pairs in. We're spending like 500 bucks. Not bad, not bad at all. So yeah, I'm gonna get these people paid. This is honestly probably gonna be the last clip for today because I have family responsibilities to take care of. But yeah, I will see you guys probably tomorrow morning or Monday-ish, I don't know. Something like that. All right, what's up guys? Today is Monday. Yesterday was Easter, didn't record anything. I'm just gonna be honest, I have not done anything today. I have felt like garbage. Got myself a little COVID test, tested negative, but I'm gonna have to do it again because I guess 
you're supposed to do it more than once on these things. So I haven't touched any of the packages I need to ship out just in case I do have COVID, um, which would suck. Yeah, I didn't really do much today. We'll get back on it tomorrow though. But we did get a package in that I want to open up. Honestly, I really hope I'm not sick because I don't know if you guys remember last time I was sick around Christmas and I missed like a month worth of uploads because I was just, I was sick and couldn't really do anything. So let's hope that's not the case this time because that sucked. Easy 350 box, some size 9 MX oats, oh 185, but super super clean, probably won't even have to clean these honestly, insole is still all there, 185 we should be able to flip these for around 220, 230, make an easy 40, 50 bucks, honestly probably closer to like 35, 40, <coughs> but uh yeah, these are them, how do you guys feel about these, honestly I don't really know, I remember I kept a pair for a little bit, uh, and then I sold them when I bought all my crypto, but yeah definitely interesting, they have like this lacing, this plastic lace, it's hard to tell on camera, but yeah, 185. That's pretty much all I'm going to record today, honestly. But I will see you guys tomorrow morning when we pack up boxes and go to the post office. All right, what's up, guys? It is the next morning. Tuesday morning. It is... I actually don't know what time it is. It is 8 a.m. As you can tell, not, not really any better, but we got bread to make today, so we're going to do that. So first order of business is I'm going to go eat some breakfast because I'm starving. Next up... We have to clean these Yeezys here. We don't really need to clean them too much, just relace them. And then these blue tint 350s, I need to throw these in the washing machine. Then we're gonna need to scrub the bottoms. So that's all we need to clean for today. Um, and then after we clean those, we'll take some pictures of the five pairs I have on my floor right now, get those up posted, pack up these orders, get them out to UPS. And then those are like the main things I have to do today. I'm pretty sure that's it. Hopefully you guys are down for the ride. Uh, let's, I don't know what the next clip's gonna be, but I'll see you guys soon. All right, time has come to throw the 350s inside of the washing machine. Let me just show you guys them again. Hopefully the washing machine takes out like these little grease stains on there and there in the laces. And uh, maybe clean up the bottom just a little bit, but I know I'm gonna have to clean those anyways, but let's go toss these inside the washing machine. Also, I took out the insoles too, because I didn't want the lettering to come off. Just open this bad boy up, throw it in. Close this bad boy. Quick wash. I'll let you guys know when they finish and show you guys like a little bit before. Well, you guys already seen them before, but I'll show you guys them a little before and then after, after they're clean, so. Okay, so while those uh, 350s are in the washing machine, we are going to start packing up some shoes. So enjoy this nice little time lapse. All right, orders are all packed up. They are right there. I'm gonna go load them up in the car and we're gonna go drop these off. <clears throat> I right, got the car all loaded up over here. Unfortunately, after I drop these boxes off, I'm going to be ending this video. I think it's gonna be a little bit shorter of a video, so I'm sorry about that. I know you guys want longer videos, but to stay on schedule, I already didn't upload last week because of everything going on. I just had a lot going on. To make a video this week, I need to get this video done today. So this one's gotta go up. This one's gotta be done, like absolutely today. So yeah, it sucks, but I'm sure you guys will manage to live. So yeah, let's go uh, drop off these packages. All right, all the packages have been dropped off. Now we're gonna go home and we are going to unfortunately end this video a little soon. Yeah. All right, guys, I know the moment you've been dreading, the moment you've been dreading, but you know, it's, it's, it's something at least. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't anything crazy, but I'm going to be back on my grind for YouTube. We have some ideas written down. There's gonna be some sit down videos, some more vlogs coming. We got Kobe's coming up, LA Sneaker Con coming up, business cards, check that out. What kind of legit business has business cards, dude? Every single one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel, maybe leave a like, comment, helps the algorithm, helps the videos get pushed out to more people. Hey man, if you really wanna support the channel, watch the ads all the way through so I can get extra bread so I can afford to go out to eat once in a while. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, leave a dislike, don't care. Also, I have Instagrams. You guys can go check them out. And if you guys wanna go buy some shoes for me, they're also on Instagram or first link in the description is the eBay store. Feel free to go check that out. Maybe purchase some shoes. I will see you guys in the next one. Till next time. Peace. I said, baby, like, whoa. Huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more. Yeah. I have been rolling up doja. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold up a foe. Yeah.